the Impalas. I love seeing them run away, just the sort of moving of those black lines on the backside. A couple of young bachelor males at the back there. Enjoy the company of the females of the herd at the moment. In the next few months, they won't be tolerated around the breeding herds anymore. The female just deciding if she can trust us or not. I'm sure she's not too worried. Yeah, join the rest of the herd.
Guys, the sun is set, but we've still got a little bit of ambient light, probably another five minutes, ten minutes maybe, before we go to infrared, and just while we're looking around for whatever animals might be cruising around, Penny just sent another question through. Penny, you were asking about, uh, I presume because of this porcupine call that picked up earlier today, um, lions eating a lot of porcupine in the Kalahari, in the Kalahari Transfrontier Park. Now, always the problem with me answering questions is there's so many possible ways of getting to the answer, but um, a very large percentage of lions, they would eat porcupines because it's something that's available. And obviously the same as lions in this area eat a lot of buffalo. Over time they would have learned how to catch them. So they get smarter about it. And the cubs then learn that from the adults and so on and so on. So that you've now got generations of lions that are quite good at hunting porcupines. And not only that, but are also probably better at getting the calls out of their mouths, pulling it out. So they've just sort of evolved with that species because it's a readily available food source. Very loud cicada bug there. Um, as for how many lions and leopard eat porcupines in Sabi Sands, uh, I don't know it for a fact, so I can't give you a tracks there. I can't give you a scientifically documented number, but just from having worked in this area quite a bit and never once having seen leopard or lion catch a porcupine or even seen them eat one or even find the calls from a kill, I would say probably very rarely. It would happen, has to happen, but on very rare occasions. Just a case of there's so many other food sources here compared to relatively little porcupines. I mean, I've only seen porcupine in Sabi Sands or in Juma um, over about three years of guiding. I saw porcupine three or four times. So very few porcupines compared to, you know, thousands of impala and uh, a lot of baboons and monkeys and nyalas and kudus and so forth. So it's just one of those things that leopard really wouldn't ever have to learn to hunt or the same with lions. So I'm sure that answers your question. Just another thing that's quite interesting about the Kalahari. Um, well, uh, many millions of interesting things. It's an incredibly beautiful place. Worked there a couple of years ago with meerkats and cheetahs. But uh, the Kalahari has got a unique sort of best of in the world. It's got the highest um, per area. It's, it's a difficult statistic to explain, but per area, let's say square kilometer, it's got the highest weight of mammals living underground compared to any other biome in the world. So if you had to take X amount of area, all the mammals that live underground would be more and heavier than any other mammals living underground in any other part of the world. I hope that makes sense if you understand what I mean. Reason being is it gets so incredibly hot, they can get temperatures of well over 50 degrees Celsius there. In summertime, 52, 53, which is, oh, I don't even know, it's about 120 odd, I think, in Fahrenheit. They can get surface temperatures right on the surface of the sand of 70 to 72 degrees Celsius. So hot enough that you could, you could bake eggs in it almost. Um, and hot enough certainly to burn your feet if you weren't used to it. So that's why a lot of animals there just go underground in the daytime they come out at night. So that's another interesting thing. So again, things like uh, spring hares or uh, a lot of your foxes, but spring hares, porcupines, artfark, lions in that area eat a lot of those species because there's lots of them and they all come out at night and um, provides the opportunity for lions to get, get food.